Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. So here's the deal. Buyer class this Thursday at 7 p.m. And uh, so this is the book that you get. So you can see there's lo it's a real book. We're not playing around. It's got all the steps. And that page is called The Rate Trap. So there's some things that you definitely want to ask questions about when you're getting a mortgage, what lenders look for, uh, a full walkthrough of all the costs involved, uh, there's your rent versus buy, your upfront costs, your ongoing costs. It's all in this book, which is free. Bring a food bank donation, come to the class, you'll really enjoy it. It's a short list today with seven properties, and uh, it won't take long. So remember, MiltonBuyerClass.com this Thursday. Now, people can do whatever they want. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to talk about Spruce Dale, the inside, but the price, $748.9, is $1,100 less than $750.000. Which, which puts you in a bracket where you're now the, the, the last one between seven and 750 and the first one between 750 and eight. We call it double bracketing here. And I just think for what it's worth, like why not pin it up there? I don't think it's gonna affect the marketing in terms of how many people go see it for you know $1,100. But uh, that would have been my personal recommendation. Sellers, agents, they can do whatever they want. I just think double bracketing, more exposure, is good. So yesterday we talked about the Snowberry model on Minchin. Now this one on Dymot has a few more finishes than that one. They're both nice homes. Uh, this one doesn't have the stone and stucco elevation, but it's the same design. Uh, there's a few different upstairs layouts. The main floor is pretty much the same regardless. And it's a nice looking home. This home, it, this is an eight foot ceiling. The nine foot ceiling looks it doesn't even look like the same house. It's completely different. The uh, the nine foot makes a, a massive difference. So they got a finished basement here. They've done a lot of work in the backyard. And uh, I'll tell you, nice looking place. Really nice. They're holding back on offers. And I didn't see anything in yesterday's listings uh, or yesterday's listing on mention about them holding back at 729. So that's the dilemma. Do I wait for this one at 750 or do I kind of go a little sooner on the one on 729? So it's not always finding the perfect home. As we saw last night, as my clients got blown out by $50,000, uh, it was funny. The agent sent me a text. He said, hey, the sellers liked you best. And I said, yeah, but they didn't like me 50,000 best. And, uh, but that's what happens. Sometimes it's like the strategy of, I like this home and I like this home. What do I need to do to kind of put myself in the best position? So there you go. That's the list. Nice and quick. Remember MiltonBuyerClass.com. If you want to come this Thursday, it's the last one of the year. Uh, we usually don't do one in December and even January. Sometimes we take that one off too. So it could be your last chance for a couple months and it's some great information.